still don't get it, do you? He'll find her. That's what he does. That's all he does. Years before he'd even considered becoming the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger was terrorizing the streets of America in probably the most relentless chase scene ever made. The Terminator really is just one big, long chase sequence in itself. You've got a Terminator, he's after Sarah Connor, he's not going to stop, he's going to keep on chasing them forever. <laughs> There are a lot of great moments in the movie, but when that explosion happens, and you see the whole landscape is filled with fire, your senses tell you that nothing could have survived that. And it looks like, okay, everything's gonna be just fine. And then this thing comes up from behind us and the music swells and it's just a great moment of, oh my God, it's not over. It's almost like having a, a, a disease, you know, that you can't stop. You can try this and you can try that, but it just keeps coming and it just keeps coming and it's, it's, it's frightening. It's gonna get you. Of course, the thing about that final chase scene is that Arnie isn't in it at all. By that point, he's got all of his flesh blown off and he's just this silver um, cyborg thing. And then, of course, it rises up again and it's that weird thing where the body, the legs aren't there and the tentacles are kind of hanging out the bottom of it. And it's like this insect or something crawling along the ground and it's horrifying. He slowly gets crunched and the smoke starts popping and there's electrical stuff coming out of him. And you just see that little red eye and you know it, that the, the being is still alive. I mean, you get the feeling that, that eyeball would roll out and try to kill her if it didn't get squashed. And when that red light goes out, it's finally over. And I think people walk out of that movie going, Wow, that was some hell of a chase.